It's Saturday the 6th of October. I'm back at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. I've got a lot of new information about this stadium and a lot has happened in the past seven days. I'm gonna walk around the ground now. So we start here at Tottenham's new ticket office. Work continues early this morning. Quite a bit of progress here, including a lot of scaffolding uh, put up in the last seven days. And also on the left here, you can notice a lot more brickwork has been put in. The last few Saturdays that I've visited, it seemed pretty quiet and today it does seem very busy. Another very, very good sign. So you can see at the ticket office as well, more glass panels have gone in on the second level showed you in the past couple of weeks that the uh, the glass has actually gone in on the ground level this building uh, will be a ticket office not only will it be a ticket office it will be a shop as well and just to give you an idea of where this is lily white house you can see the link bridge there between Lily White House and the new stadium. Lily White House is right next door. And also next door to this is the new Tottenham Foundation. Now I'm walking down the high road. This is, uh, I'm standing right outside uh, William Hill, uh, which is at the junction of White Hart Lane. So straight away you can see work being carried out this morning. So looking down the uh, the high road now, you can see just to the right there's people taking photographs. It's very unusual now that I come down here and don't see a lot of people taking photos and videos of this fantastic new stadium. And quite a lot of uh, visitors to this stadium already are non-Spurs fans. They just want to come and have a look and see what we have here. And. Uh, you know, being a Spurs fan, this is just something to be proud of. So you can see in here now that a lot of the internal work is continuing at the new stadium. There is work going on at the moment in every single area of the ground. So the access points here, leading up to the stadium, are now complete. So the paving on the outside continues as well. Joe, you know as I said earlier, um, the last few Saturdays certainly, um, well, since since it was announced that we wouldn't play here on the 15th of September, um, the overtime stopped. Um, no workers were out here um, every Saturday that I visited um, since that announcement. And uh, it is very, very busy this morning. Lots of work is going on, um, including um, outside the, um, the entrance here to the West End. 
um, a lot of preparation uh, for the paving and a lot of paving as well. I know if you watched last week's video, it was all about the paving. Well, I'm afraid there is a little bit more paving today, but it's such a good sign. And of course, the pitch. I know I'll talk a lot about the pitch later on in the video, but the pitch was uh, completed this week that put uh, huge smiles on all of our faces. So you can see now as well that there are a number of workers working inside the entrance to the West End. So a lot of people working inside, a lot of people working outside. So the overtime is back and it's all systems go. It really, really is. So these guys, these guys here are working on the paving. You can see on the right hand side there are piles and piles of paving blocks all ready to go in. This guy here is putting paving blocks in very, very, very quick. How many buses? It's very, very obvious that they are really concentrating on the access points to get people in this ground. That can only be, or only tell us one thing, that this ground will open very soon. So let's just talk a little bit about the pitch. Uh, on Monday, um, I did expect them to actually start laying turf on Monday, but they did prepare the, all of the area on Monday. Um, then they had a very, very early start on Tuesday. The staff started work about 5 a.m. Um, around 10 a.m. they laid the first piece of turf. Um, by the end of Tuesday, so by the end of day one of uh, you know laying the turf, um, they had completed the first section of the retractable pitch. That was a third of the pitch. Um, by the end of uh, Wednesday, they had actually finished the second and by the end of Thursday they'd actually finished the whole of the pitch. So it actually took three days in total um, to complete um, installation of all of the turf. So actually yesterday um, a world first integrated pitch grow lighting system was put in operation at this new stadium following the laying of the pitch. As you can see, they've got a lot of people on the paving blocks today. So here we go. A lot of people get excited about this, as I do. Europe's biggest club shop at the new stadium. Um, I've got some exclusive news on this. I have actually been told by very, very reliable sources that this shop will start to be stocked next week. Now that is major news. Obviously, if they're gonna start stocking the shop, that is gonna to lead to it being open very soon. If this is open very soon, then it means the stadium will be open very, very soon. This really is exciting times. The club announced a few weeks ago that they would actually give everybody one month's notice to when the game, the first game would be announced. And of course we've got to play the, uh, the two test events here before the first um, official game, official opening. Um, but 
I've also been told by a number of staff that, uh, that work here that we should expect to hear from the club in the next couple of weeks announcing when the test events will be. Now a closer look at the shop you can see how busy it is. Look internally here as well. I know that signage has been up there for the last couple of months. But there's a lot of people working inside. There's frames in there for TVs to go up. Internally, it's looking pretty decent. And as I've told you in the past couple of weeks, certainly on last week's video, all of the paving has been completed outside here. So even more paving going on here. Do you know what? This is actually like a weekday. They've got so many staff here today. This is actually like a weekday. Weekdays when I visited here before, it is just all systems go. And today is like that. It is like the, the old days. It's like, uh, it's like everyone's on a rush now to get this done, which is really, really pleasing to see. So this is Warmington House. You can see a lot of paving has gone in here as well. And you can, can you can you see what's outside Warmington House as well? These trees have been put in. So in the last few days, these trees have been installed as well outside the Tottenham Experience. So you can now see more paving going in. They're actually preparing at the moment to put a lot more trees in. Just speaking to uh, some of the staff who are working here at the moment and 42 trees will be going in. You can see there's three here. Three have been put in already. So another 39 trees to be put in. You can see this sign has gone in as well this week. So you can see this builder here is working on the doors. This guy here working on the paving. This really is my favourite view. So just walking down Park Lane now. So still just the two cranes here, left on site. 
You can see here at the back of the Tottenham Experience, more cladding has been installed. There has been so much speculation this week because of the uh, the pitch has been installed and is now complete. There's been so much speculation uh, between a lot of fans that what game will we play our first game here? Will it be Chelsea? Uh, particularly that a lot of people have noticed that on Tottenham's official website it says Chelsea half past five kickoff in November. Um, at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. I personally think that it says that because um, the venue is unknown and it's just done that by default. But who knows? Could it be Chelsea? Could it be Chelsea at home? Could it be that quick? Someone actually asked me on Twitter yesterday, um, if you were a betting man, which game would you go for? I personally um, think that it will be Burnley. Um, but how nice would it be if we waited that little bit longer and I can't believe I'm even saying that um, because I for one want to get in here as soon as possible but um, Manchester United in January how fitting would it be that we actually finished um, you know the White Hart Lane era with Manchester United and then start at the new White Hart Lane with Manchester United I can just see that happening, I really can. But if it's Burnley at home in December, bring it on. If it's Chelsea at home in November, bring it on. We all cannot wait, we are all very, very excited to get in here. A number of people have actually asked me over the past few weeks, what are these metal frames outside the south stand? I can actually tell you that they're actually ventilation shafts for keeping the garage and the pitch store at the correct environment. I don't know if my camera is actually gonna catch um, it very well, but Looking here, I can see the inside of the, uh, the south stand. Um, all of the concourse and foyer areas and it's looking pretty good. It really is. And I've also got to say respect to all of the workers today because walking around here, my hands are a bit shaky because it is freezing cold. Very cold morning. So for the guys lay, laying all of those uh, paving blocks, putting the trees in, good work lads, good work. And a well done should go to all of the staff as well at um, SEX for um, completing the pitch and all of the ground staff at Tottenham who worked very, very hard this week in getting the, uh, the pitch complete. The pictures being put out this week just it just makes the stadium look incredible. I think it's got everybody extremely excited um, actually seeing the green grass pitch that Spurs will actually play on. Uh, you know now that's in in the stadium. It gives it a whole new feel. It really does. You see at the top here. Uh, more panelling has been put in, grey panelling. I am actually going to get a definite answer in the next couple of days, but it has caused a bit of debate amongst a number of Tottenham fans. Whether the, uh, the cockerel will actually be on the outside here. I personally thought that it was going to be on the inside. But a lot of people keep telling me that that's what they think that's for. But we'll have a definite answer in the next couple of days, so I'll let you know. So the South Stand, um, a number of season ticket holders were actually contacted yesterday 
um, just to let fans know that their um, membership packs and season ticket packs are being sent out in the next couple of weeks. Um, and also, um, they got told that the, the block numbers will be changing um, and some seat numbers will, uh, will change as well. Now, the, the actual position of the seat won't change, but the actual number and the, uh, the block number will change. Um, for instance, the, um, the S213 will now be block 248. The S214 will change now to 249. Um, there is a whole list. I won't read them all out because I'll be here all day, uh, but there is a whole list. So all of the um, block numbers throughout the South Stand um, will change. So if you are sitting here in the South Stand and you haven't received your email, um, then uh, then chase it up because um, they have changed. And if you did pick uh, a particular seat number, um, that probably has changed as well. So I've just been given access to these pictures. This is exactly how the pl player's tunnel will look. And the changing rooms. You can imagine Pochettino standing there, giving his orders. And these are lounge images as well. But look at that. They will go from here and out to the player's tunnel, out onto that wonderful pitch. The images just look amazing. So we are now at the East Stand. I know I said it on last week's video as well, but I'm going to say it again today. Uh, very impressed today with how clear everything is. Uh, particularly this um, this east side as well. Um, it's really difficult for me to get a, uh, a decent image of it. Uh, hopefully I'll get one when I walk around to Worcester Avenue. But um, you can actually see all the way down um, from the Park Lane side right through to Worcester Avenue. Um, it is all very, very clear. You can even see, hopefully, um, the paving has been done on this side as well. So it's all about the access, as I keep saying. Whenever I've visited this side, the east side, it's always got um, materials um, sat here, all ready to be installed. Materials don't tend to sit here for very long. They do tend to go in quite quickly. But cosmetically, on this side of the stadium, it doesn't look like a lot has been done, but as you've seen in the video so far, uh, they are working on all of the other areas. So this is the view now from outside the Bill Nicholson pub. So we're just going to walk down Worcester Avenue now. So going back to the pitch at the moment. Um, pitch was obviously completed on Thursday. On Friday, which was yesterday, um, the trusses for the um, grow lights uh, were put on the pitch. Um, there are four of them at the moment, but there will be six. There will be six very soon. Um, and a lot of people have said to me, um, where are they stored? Where are they held when not being used? Um, there is actually a void uh, below the NFL level um, in the North Stand. There is a 70 meter wide void, and that's where they will go. Uh, electronically moved, uh, mostly hydraulics. So 
So this set of staircase is still being worked on. This is where the away fans will go in. So I've just walked around to the high road again and you can see that they are actually putting one of the first posts in here at the new stadium. So you've got the guys behind putting more and more blocks in, more paving blocks, and now they're putting in one of the barriers. It really is all happening here and it's all very positive. My God, how many buses? So if you can see now inside the Tottenham Experience, you can see the detail on the walls. I apologize for the poor quality here. But if you can see the sign, centre picture, and he's just about to get in the way. Yes, he is. Um, that blue sign actually says Stadium Tour. So I'm just going to finish here on the shop and the Tottenham Experience. Come on you Spurs.